Greetings! It's a hack and slash game set in a dark fantasy world where you play as a werewolf. Both the AIs and player make heavy usage of finite state machines. Let's take a look at the player first. The player has access to a variety of attacks and attack combinations and all of this is using the state machine. While I am sitting idle, I can do a light attack or a heavy attack. Let's do a light attack. If I attempt to do another light one now, I will progress further with this particular attack combination. If I go for a heavy attack instead, I will begin a different combination. While I am in the second light attack of this chain, I will need to do a heavy attack in order to finish this combination. Doing another light one will just restart this combination instead of progressing forward. The same applies to the heavy attack chain. You can see the whole attack combination progression here and this is how the attack states work for the player and the AI. The player transitions from one state to another based on user input and timing. The AI on the other hand are thinking on their own. The AI are now in their patrolling state. Their detection system works with a fuzzy logic evaluation between the distance and angle to the target. If I am behind a guard, I will get detected only if I am very close. If I sit in front, I will get detected from much further away. Once detected, the AI will go into the chase state and look for an attack opportunity. They will choose their attack chain, light or heavy, based on the defasification process between the distance to the target, attack cooldown, their health and the target's health. This guard, for example, will use the heavy attack every 15 seconds or whenever their health drops to a critical level. If the AI hits their target, they will proceed to the next attack in the chain. If not, they will go back into the patrolling state and redo their process. If an AI is left without a target for a given time, they will go back to their patrolling state.